<clears throat> Deaf Ears 2 is Mega Drive. New EP is Code Walker. Now, we talk about on the show a lot. The world of music is a change in people. Yes, the vinyl market is surging for now, but the idea of making full-length albums is slowly falling to the wayside. This is the era of the Spotify algorithm. Some have expressed disapproval of this new distribution model, singles over full records, streaming versus owning, music made in home studios versus formal releases and big tours. You can rail against it, or you can go with it. And an artist like Houston-based 80s synthwave architect Mega Drive makes the case for embracing the new and never looking back. Ironically, we don't even know his real name. I really looked, too. Yeah. But that does add a sense of mystique to these luscious, dark synthwave instrumentals that are just too damn groovy to resist. Yeah. Simultaneously fresh and undeniably retro, these are colorful sonic creations are crammed to the brim with hooky synth lines, futuristic blips and bleeps and absolutely sick beats yeah. like club level beats. yeah definitely the brooding yet danceable track persona sync has it all icicle synth runs charismatic grave grooves and more computerized oscillations than a short circuiting terminator the pick of the litter to me is narc three i am declaring this my personal theme song walking around <laughs> hiya um, I feel like I'm listening to a bastardized version of the Beverly Hills Cops theme. Yeah. You know? um, anyway, hats off to the fixed label, Mega Drive, and living in the here and now. People, Deezer is not a brand of ice cream. Get with it, okay? So let's hear Narc 3. This is the Snaggletooth Rock and Roll Podcast. 